Hi everyone, hope you're well. Time to kick some A. Right. Um, it's Friday today, hope you're having a good Friday. Hope you're looking forward to the weekend. Um, oh, what we got here? Right. Okay. Boom. These guys. Lots of these guys. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Woo! Right. There's someone saying the other day when Isaac had the common cold and I was sneezing. It's quite funny. It's just some serious hardcore role playing on my side. I've forgotten what this one does. I think it does damage. Um, we'll see in a minute. Okay, nothing else in here. Shall we try it out on them? The this guy splits up though, doesn't he? And we know we know what can happen if you use too much damage on a splitty up boss from a couple of episodes ago. It was a <laughs> very bad idea indeed, and I died. And to kind of keep it just under control, which is what I nearly always do. So, my mind gets obsessively organised like that, even when I'm killing a boss. This boss is all about organisation. <laughs> Doing it bit by bit. That's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Put out the fire, I'm a regular firefighter. Right. Oh, there doesn't seem to be any secret rooms along the middle there just yet. It's not the right shape anywhere, is it? Um, use the bomb on that. Emperor takes us to the boss. Rock, what does Rock do? It more damage? Yeah, more damage. Cool. Poor Isaac, Rock in his head. It's rather painful. You should probably see a doctor about that. Um. Oh. Just trying to avoid the other one. Um, I don't really have enough keys. For the sh uh, coins for the shop. I always mix up the word key and coins in this for some reason, don't know why. Another Emperor card, that's no good, is it? Pretty much the least useful card there is. No idea where the secret room is. Shall we try here? It's a corner. Or. Shall we try this corner? It's the last of our bombs as well. Huh. Strange. Okay, let's check it does take us to the boss. It does. Let's use that. Not quite sure what it did. Maybe it only damages smaller. Smaller mobs or something. Okay. Second stage already. That's good. Oh. Just from completely out of the way of the <laughs> com completely wide of his shots because I'm not um I wasn't dodging them very well at all. Was there any other hearts lying around? It doesn't say there was on the map. I don't remember any. Might as well grab that Emperor card even though I don't like using it, you never know. Um Sometimes, yeah, sometimes when I have full health and stuff, I think oh, it might be quite good to attack the boss now rather than go through the last couple of rooms to get to it. So, in those situations, the Emperor card is quite good. So, these are like kind of stony tears, I think, aren't they? From the rock in my head. Not quite sure how that works, but can't complain. It's extra damage, it's up to four damage. Seems to always just go up to four whenever I get extra damage for anything. I guess if 
got multiple extra damage, then it might take it up higher. There we go. It just goes along a straight line first, so no blue rocks in here. I haven't got any bombs either. Um, so it's up in here. That's where the boss is. So the Emperor card is pretty much guaranteed useless. You know where the Emperor might be useful? It's in. Um, Apparently in the womb you can't pick up any more items or anything, so you just have to try and survive all the way to Mum's heart or whatever. So the Emperor card would be useful there if it works. You can just skip all the hard mobs and just go straight for the boss. Because there's no chance of gaining anything along the way. Oh yeah, I like this guy. It's funny. Oh! Okay. Gotcha. Anarchist cookbook, which is good for blowing stuff up. Um, I think if I try and use it against this wall, but they always land randomly. Okay, that one flew over there and it didn't make a hole so um, I'm still not entirely sure what the pad does so although Anitis, Anarchist Cookbook is kind of random and dangerous I might actually keep it especially as we haven't got any bombs so <clears throat> there's another key sneaky meats gotcha Okay, we've got a key to get into the item room, that's good. Okay, let's grab that half heart. Well, we got some kind of <clears throat> poison touch. Cool, so we've got poison and extra damage. I guess that doesn't count as extra damage either, does it? But it will do extra damage in practice. So this might be the secret room on the right here. So let's see if we can get some bombs near it. Push that one over. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't the one I pushed actually. That was random from up here, but it does the same trick. Couple of coins. Okay. So let's see what we've got down here. I think this might be the last room. Yep. I haven't got any bombs to get into that. So yeah, we're suffering because we don't have enough bombs, basically. That's good. Another heart. Right. So we'll use the um, we'll use the emperor to quickly pop over there. It's Larry. Not too much trouble here. Usually, anyway. Don't seem to be getting poison touch. I guess, as discussed before, it's not every single shot. It's just occasional shots. Will poison, unless my um, unless my rock damage up is actually nerfing it, and they don't combine very well. Don't seem to have poisoned it once. Oh no, poison touch. Poison touch is if the monster touches me. It's more of a defense thing. It's not poison shots. That's what it is. It's only if they touch me and hurt me, they'll get poisoned in return. So, right. Um, so we still only got seven coins. So I don't think it's worth using our only coin to go into the shop. So we'll move on. Into the caves. Can't go over to that. See, that's you can see there's a green burst there where the maggot hit me. It got poisoned from hitting me and then died because <laughs> they they're only small. They can't deal with the poison. 
Aha, a bomb. Um, could, we could try and get to that chest, but we've only got one key as well, so um, I'd rather not just yet. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Blue heart shops there. It probably is worth using the key on the item room. And hopefully if we find a load more coins we can find another key as well for the shop. It's another bomb while we're at it. Let's see what we've got here. Ah, oh, okay. This is a force field thing. I was thinking looking at yesterday's video that maybe I should have used a force field on that boss instead. Um We do have a couple of bombs now, so I don't Anarchist cookbook isn't really it's so random and dangerous that um I think it's a good swap. room is there. Aha, now we have lots of coins. Okay, so we'll try and find a key then and we can go buy, buy ourselves something nice. Yes. Okay. I don't know what Gluttony's been eating. I think he's been eating the laser beams or something. I'm not quite sure how that works. Go, and a blue heart, always good. Let's see. What's this one do? Speed up, nice. Meow. So remember there's another heart up in that room. And we need a key. Please give us a key. Please, please, please. What's this, the moon? Does that take you to the secret room? Yep. Starting to learn these. So, what's up in here? dead end. Maybe we'll get a key reward. All I want is a key. My kingdom for a key. Zep, can you blow doors open? Can you blow locked doors open? Can I use a bomb instead of a key? We seem to defeat the object of having the different items, but maybe bombs are just more valuable in general. I might try that if I don't find one out of desperation. So I don't know if it works or not, and there's one way to find out. I'll be surprised if it does so. Come and give me a key. No! Oh, oh dear. So right at this moment, lots of people are shouting at their screen going, it's never going to work, you can't bomb a door open. But I don't know for sure, so I just want to know for sure. No, no you can't. 19 coins and nowhere to go. Um, we don't need another red heart. So, we can go straight for the boss then. Maybe the boss will give us a key. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with getting a key now. Um, oh well, 
If we don't, and then we get a shop later that might have better items the deeper you go. I don't know exactly how it works. Oh, Peep. Haven't had Peep for quite a while. Forgot he existed. Oh yeah, and the eye starts coming round, so keep an eye out for that. Pun unintended, that was completely unintended, by the way. <laughs> keep an eye out for that. Oh my, oh dear. I don't know, oh, crap. Okay, see, Peep landed on me, so he's now poisoned for a couple of moments there. I've still got full hearts, because I had a spirit heart. Oh, I thought he was going to land where I was. He doesn't have a shadow until the last second when he's coming down, so... Look, I think we're done. Little Chubby. Okay, so we've unlocked an item from taking out Peep. Sorry about that, Peep. Um, so that's cool. So we've actually unlocked something this game. So we'll remember that when we die horribly. <laughs> I still seem to get comments um, about me dying a lot, so I'll just explain once again for any new viewers. This is a what you could refer to as a roguelike game, which means it's ex which means it's designed to be challenging, and you don't necessarily expect to complete it every time you play it. You expect to die almost. Um, and you just see how far you can get each time. So old games like NetHack and stuff, which I love, um, you literally just see how far you can get each time and you just get better by playing the game and working out different strategies and, um, and learning what different items do and stuff. And, uh, and that's, that's like the whole game. Isaac's, um, a little bit more modern that there is permadeath and you have to start all over again but it's only takes about an hour to complete if you do actually complete it and um, you actually unlock new items like you saw just then with the boss you unlock a new item so each time you play you might unlock more items that you have a chance of picking up next time and as as there's more and more cool items you've unlocked you know that you've got a chance of picking up the better items you pick up you know in your playthroughs and the more chance you've got of um, killing the final boss and everything so over time um, and you get better at the game and learn what different things do and stuff and different strategies and so the point is so you kind of expect to die and that's the point you just you you die lots of times playing this game and it's just you improve each time you play you try and do a bit better and unlock better items for next time so i think that's a good enough explanation probably the last time i will explain it because i know most people who watch this video um understand it um but I can point people towards this direction if if they're not familiar with the game yet. So it's a telly pill. Okay. It's a blue rock there. I've only got two bombs, so I don't want to use them up just yet. You can see if this here is a secret room. And it is. Excellent. Let's put out the fires as well. Okay. Let's see what's up in this little room. Aha. Um. Oh, now we've got a hard choice. I think I'm going to have to save my keys for a minute because... When we find the shop, I'm going to want to go in, and we've got a lot of coins, so I think it's the shop has to take precedence over the special item room because the shop we have a choice, 
and the shop there might be a uh, another key available and if there is then we can go in the item room after. Hopefully we'll just pick up a second key, that would be ideal. Wow, this is a big sneaky meat. How big his shots are, it's scary. Okay, a bomb for a bomb. Um, I'll leave it for the moment actually. I was thinking that the other day, it sometimes says you might pick up another option of getting to it, like a ladder or something. So, as you're only exchanging one for one, you might as well wait until you might have, you might be able to get it for free somehow. So, um, shop, no, this is where the boss is. So, now we know where the boss is. Okay, oh, that was very sneaky of me. Let's check that out. How about that? quite pleased with that. Oh, I was thinking that was the full health pill I discovered, but it's speed up. Speed is good as well. Health would just be especially useful right now. Um, oh, there's a key. Use a bomb. Get a key. Perfect. Okay. Um, I think we'll be alright with three hearts. I mean, we I was thinking we could, if I was being super careful, I would have gone back to the special room quickly to see what pickup it had before encountering any more mobs, but it seems pretty clear that um, there's only like one room left. But it's greed, so we still don't have a shop. Oh dear. So hopefully there'll be a shop and maybe an arcade as well on the next level. That's what seems to happen when if I encounter greed, I'm then faced with an arcade and a shop. Um, so I don't know if that's just coincidence. Um, we'll find out in a bit. So are those extra coins or do they fall off me? Not entirely sure. Right, okay. So I think that's everything, isn't it? We'll go back and get the special item. So we use that bomb on the blue. Ah, oh, it's a locked chest and we're not going to open it. We're going to go in this room. Splunker. Let's you see through doors and more usefully, in my opinion, let's you see where the secret room is. Um, Okay, so time for the boss, I think. I think that's all we can get. Let me think. There's an arena over there, but we don't have full health. So this might be a horseman, if we're lucky. <laughs> no, it's not, it's Gertie. Oh yeah, that's right. Horsemen appear all the time if you've got Book of Revelations on you. Um, which is apparently extra cool, because... Um, because horsemen apparently always drop the cube of meat, someone was saying. And now I think about it, I think that's right. From what I've played so far, I'm surprised I didn't notice. Um, okay, I think we found our favourite spot, but over on this side rather than over on the left. Yes, good. Okay, so... <laughs> Gertie's so easy when you know this spot, it just seems completely OP. Oh, I got hit there. Oh, item, of course. Hope this force field lasts. Yes, okay. Okay, cool. What's I saying? Cubes of meat. If you have a book of revelations, you'll always get the horsemen, and then the horsemen always drop cubes of meat. So you'll get the um, full meat boy. Which is really, really cool, apparently. I got to, like, stage 3 Meat Boy once before, didn't I? But it's ran around and bit things instead of shooting like a turret. So, I'm presuming maybe level 4 is just stronger or he shoots as well. But, um, maybe someone can tell me. But I'm not entirely sure if I want the spoiler or not. But you might as well tell me. Um, it will still be cool when I get it. 
Um, so, depths number one. We haven't got too much health, we haven't got any bombs, and we haven't got any keys. So we could do with a bit of loot right now. Nothing. So this is telling us where the secret room is, but we still need to blow it open ourselves because we haven't got x-ray specs, we've only got Splunker, which tells us where it is. X-ray specs is really cool because it actually opens up the door. Um, Alright, so let's use the bomb to go, oh move out of the way Isaac, let's use the bomb to go in. Those more coins, we'll be set if we can find a shop and get in. We need a key as well. What do we think? Shall we go straight line this way? To save our force field for a second, this should be relatively safe. Let's fight. Just watch out for the shots from that, whatever you want to call it in the middle. I tend to call them turrets. They must have a name though, like gargoyle or something. Um, let's go down and around. We've only got one heart. Yes, let's. We might want to use our thing here quickly. In fact, with this force field, can I just run into stuff and give them poison? Okay, be careful now. Gotcha. Right, we've got a key. Now we just need a shop. Okay, so it's a boss as well. Oh my god. Die. Right. Damn it. Oh my goodness, right. So this is not the shop, this is where the boss is, and we've only got half a heart. Oh my goodness. I think this up here is gonna be a dead end. Oh let's have a look. Oh goodness. I died rich. You can't take it with you. Okay, so that's all for today. We did unlock something, didn't we? What was it? Little Chubby. We unlocked from killing, um, what's his name? Can't even think what his name is now. So anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.